Hi team, my name is Stacy Thompson and I'm here to talk to you today for my JHU TED Talk about service learning in grades K through 12 and my experience with service learning at my placement school over the past four years. In my first year of teaching, I was asked to plan a service learning day for our entire sixth grade, which at the time was the only grade level that we had. I didn't really know where to start or where to begin. So I started meeting with local community organizations and seeing where our students might be able to help out for our upcoming service day. We started by volunteering in local parks near the Fifth Ward neighborhood and the Houston Food Bank, which is one of the largest food bank networks in the country. We also started volunteering at local community gardens and then homeless shelters, as well as daycares and community centers. We now volunteer with 29 different locations in the city of Houston, all of which are within an eight mile radius of our school. For me, service learning was a way that I could supplement my students' education outside of the classroom while making meaningful change in our local school community. I saw students take pride in the work that they were doing. I saw students serve their cousins and their aunts and uncles while we were working at a local food center. And I saw my students feel a sense of pride in their community and working closely with one another to make that kind of impact and change in their own neighborhoods. According to the National Center for Education Statistics, most schools with service learning cited strengthening relationships among students, the school, and the community as key reasons for practicing service learning. In my own research with my students, I found that students reported feeling a sense of community at school when they spent times with their advisories and doing service. To implement a meaningful service learning curriculum, it takes more than just taking some students to the park with trash bags and gloves. Uh, service learning is a process where students are learning about the world around them, social justice issues that impact their community, and reflecting both before and after the service learning project in order to truly internalize the work that they and their classmates are doing together to make a difference in their city. The EPA says that when done correctly, service learning helps foster civic responsibility while supplementing the curriculum and helping students reflect. The four stages of service learning that I follow with my students include preparation before the service, action during the event, reflection following, and then a demonstration of student learning by some kind of report or other activity that's student-led and run. One of the biggest changes that I've noticed in my students over the past four years as our service learning program has continued to grow is their continued sense of responsibility and ownership over issues that they see in their neighborhood. When they spend time volunteering at organizations that are so close to our school and so close to our home, they actually feel empowered and as though they have a, a sense of control over the things that happen around them and they have a sense of ownership over those projects that they've been participating in for the past four years. For example, I have a student who is at our charter school now who feels very moved to continue helping at his local elementary school. And so he goes multiple times every week to volunteer and tutor the younger students at that school. This summer, he just received a scholarship to go to Ecuador for a month and perform service in Ecuador. And when he comes back, he plans to start a community-based initiative where he will expand the tutoring he's been doing in elementary schools to include other students, teachers, and local neighborhood people um, in his project. I truly believe that when implemented thoughtfully and purposefully, service learning in high school, middle, and elementary school can be an amazing way to build student leaders by having them interact with social justice issues in their neighborhood. Whether done as an in-school field trip, weekend project, or after-school club meeting, service learning has a place in nearly all grade levels and subjects as a way to supplement curriculum, build student leadership, and enhance student ownership over problems that they see in their neighborhoods. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my JHU TED Talk on service learning in the curriculum. 
I hope that I've inspired you to consider ways that you can reach out to local organizations in your neighborhood and plan a service learning experience for your students and your classroom. Thank you.